Now, some people have asked me how I manage to grow cauliflowers, um, and I have to confess, I do get some really half decent cauliflowers. Um, one of my favourites is, is um, all year round. I can just see that. Um, but there's others, there's Galleon. They're, my favourite used to be, back in the old days, Reading Giant. Um, or Late May Queen it was called. And then it went to Reading Giant. But it, this is how I grow them. Um, depending on how many you want, um, and I only want two or three, because I, I do them a month apart. So they come a month apart in the spring. Well, that's the theory, they don't always. Um, and I like to use a, a, a proper pot, uh, a little bit of crock in the bottom of the pot, then some potting compost or seed compost. It doesn't really matter much because they're not going to be in there long. Squeeze it down. Um, and I like to water before I put the seeds in. There's a lot of demonstration on how to put seeds in. And then they water the seeds in. And all that happens is, is the water washes all the seeds into one place. So um, that's why I do it. Now I'm going to leave that just for a bit to make sure that that's soaked on through. Then we take our seeds. Now, because I'm only looking for three or four plants, I really don't need to put more than half a dozen seeds in there. But we're going to, we're, all we're using this is, is simply to get the seeds growing. Then we'll thin them out. So, sprinkle, sprinkle, little star if you like. Right, now then, we want them to be apart from each other. So, if we take something and make sure that they are all far enough, far enough apart so that when I, when I prick them out, I'm not disturbing too much of the roots because that's what I'll be doing. There, now they're all far enough apart they're not to disturb each other and then give them a little sprinkle over the top and then I'm just going to tap that down and leave that and what I do is I've got some bits of plastic that I just put over the top that's an old yoghurt carton Oh, it don't fit quite, does it? Oh well, we'll trim that up. If only I could put my hand on the scissors. Here we go. Day, 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 day. Oh, I don't waste anything. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm going to leave that to, to, to spray on. Then when they do spray on, pop up, pop on, we'll end up with that. Now this is a different one, this is Galleon, but it's the same thing. And then what I'll do then is I'll thin them out, like that pot, I'll only have three in that pot. I'll thin them out so they're like that. And then they, I'll let them grow on, and then they go into the ground straight from the pot. There's an alternative, you could do that in, in, in that fashion. Um, that bit's a toilet roll holder which is cut through and then you just stick couple of seeds in each but the truth is you only really want it well, you, you, know, you might want loads um, but maybe just a small family growing for a small family I only want a few so I grow them a month apart in the hope and they stand all winter in the hope that um, I will keep them um, it, when, well when this when the April comes rain I'll get my first one in April and then um, a couple a month apart don't always happen so there we go then and of course don't forget to label it and if you put the date on the back then if for any reason you you think oh I better plant my cauliflowers you can have a look and say oh no I planted some last month or whenever you did there we go and that's a bit of old um, I think it's a blind. Anyway, there we go. Keep making up, uh, keep using old bits of rubbish, don't I? There we go, that's ready to go. Um, and now, when it stops raining, I oh, should go and put these, these straight out. Okay then, see you in a minute. Right, so now, time to put him in. 
Um, you can see, well you can't see because I didn't show you, but there were peas growing through here. So I'm going to come back about two foot, okay, from from my last one that I put in. So one, two foot, because they need that sort of space. Now this soil has not been it's not been dug. All I've done was pulled the peas out. Um, the secret of good cauliflowers is the soil around it has got to be solid. Now then, we've got some blood fish and bone, and I'm going to put in. That's a lot. That's about that's about a dessert spoonful, isn't it? Sprinkle it all around. Dig it out. Dig it into. Oh, that's all they mixed in, isn't it? Right. Now I'm going to fill that hole with water because the ground is quite dry. Some water. Now, this is rainwater too, by the way. Right, now I'm going to let that soak away. And at the same time, we'll take our plant out. Now, actually, I only want one of these. But I'm going to try and keep the others so that someone else can have them. And I want, naturally I want the best one, as I grew it. Now the water soaked away, in that goes, and I'm going to keep the top of that just a little bit below the soil. Remembering that this soil around the outside has now got blood, fish and bone mixed in it. Give them a good old push down. There we go. Now then, water it in. And now, pulling out all the stops, slug pellets, sand, a bit of sand around the outside. Slugs and snails don't like walking over sand. And as it's raining at the moment, every slug and snail is out filling its tummy. Then, some slug pellets, round, round it. They've got to crawl over them then, haven't they? Now the last and final thing, something to keep the birds off. And there's that. And well, hopefully that'll take. And I'm estimating that's going to come in. It's now August. I think that will come in probably middle of May. All being well. As I was saying, um, I, I've pulled peas out, as you can see I've got a couple, I've got a sprout there, um, a broccoli, and that is where the peas have, um, have just finished. So the roots of the peas leave behind nitrogen, and that, that helps um, our other thingies grow. Um, you know, leafy things, you know, like spinach and stuff. Um, Normally I would have put spinach in here, but it took so long for them peas to mature um, and the spinach off planted out somewhere else. Anyway, let's uh, look forward to getting some sprouts and, uh, and some cauliflowers um, in the spring. Bye.